Hi there, Geminis. Welcome to your weekly reading. So I have an interesting image for you. So I see this, um, it, it seems to me like some type of a theater production. And um, I see a woman, I think this is you. And I'm sorry if um, the messages are, you know, heterosexual, but um, I, I just relay the messages. So, you know, change the, the gender if it fits, okay? So I see you as this person who's like an actress or an actor, and you're wearing the, the Victorian clothing. So it has, you know, the garters and the lace and the feathers in your hair, and you look really, really stunning. And um, you're in your dressing room. Um, behind you is the vanity mirror. You're in your dressing room. And I feel like you're adjusting your, um, your leggings, and I see like fishnet stockings. It's all really, really... Uh, stage like and in drama like it's really pretty so you're adjusting it and you're pulling it up to, to your thigh and then suddenly this man comes in he's wearing a suit he looks really proper and he's like staring at you while you're doing this and you look up at him and he's still staring at you like he he doesn't really budge so I think he likes what he sees it seems like that's the case and so what it seems to me is, you know, if we use that imagery when we um, decode the spread, what it seems like to me is that somebody is really, really trying to make a move on you, okay? They're really attracted to you. They really like what they see. They're very physically very attracted to you. They find you very beautiful. And I keep seeing that, you know, you're dealing with someone who's very different from you as well. So the person, the man that walks into the dressing room, it's as if he has been standing there staring for quite some time. And then, you know, it's just when you're in this moment where you're adjusting your garters or whatever, that you look up and you realize he's there and, the, and he's like not really averting his eyes. Um, but the fact that he wears a suit, and the fact that he's um, he looks you know very prim and proper indicates to me that you might be attracting somebody like that somebody who's um, somebody who puts on you know like a, a certain facade okay so they, they might have a poker face about them but deep down they harbor a lot of passion for you you know because he's been standing in the doorway for quite some time but I feel like his, his presence might be very subtle or like he's not somebody that's uh, flamboyant. He's not somebody that <clears throat> that um, grabs other people's attention. He's very um, down to earth. His energy seems to me like it's very calm and he's somebody who's very much in, in control of his emotions. And I feel like he's grounded. And so you look up at him and he doesn't avert his eyes like he's bold. And so I feel like, you know, if in the past you've been dealing with somebody like this, they're finally moving towards you and making their intentions known towards you. And they're no longer shy. They're no longer like, they no longer care about what's, you know, socially acceptable, what's not. They no longer care about propriety. And, you know, he's, he's barging into a lady's dressing room, right? So he, he no longer cares. So I feel like he's definitely wants to relay the message that he's re very very much attracted to you and he wants to get to know you or he wants to take you out on a date or whatever that situation is but there is definitely somebody who's overcoming their shyness in order to make it known how they feel about you which i feel is really uh good i also feel like you have two uh prospects here i have here a water sign so this is a pisces a cancer or a scorpio and I have an earth sign, a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn. So let me just talk about each person at a time. What I'm feeling is, um, you might, so if you're single, these are the two options coming into the picture. And I feel like you're very drawn to the earth sign, very drawn to the earth sign. Um, because this is a person that is very proper, I feel. Like they, they behave in a way where it's like they're very much in control of their emotions. 
um, they're not one to, you know, move forward with you. Like they, they don't really, um, they don't really solicit a lot of attention from you. So, you know, they do their own thing, but deep down they, they have a lot of feelings for you. And I feel like you're very attracted to this person. Your energy is the Knight of Wands holding a torch for somebody or moving towards somebody that is holding a torch for you. And I feel like this uh, earth sign feels very strongly about you. They're really attracted to you, but they keep their feelings close to their chest because they feel like they have a lot to lose. They feel like they have a lot to lose. You know, in, in a mild way, it could be like, you know, uh, fearing rejection, because like I said, you're, you're like that actor, that actress. Uh, you have your own dressing room, so you're kind of like, you know, hot commodity, right? And you have flowers, too. You have a lot of suitors. You have a lot of admirers, people that are really interested in you. You're in the limelight. You might have a lot of fame associated with you, and you're self-sufficient. And so this person feels somewhat like they don't measure up. And so they, they are afraid of rejection. They're afraid that if I make my feelings known to the Gemini, they're just going to laugh at me. And so they kind of bottled it in and they just, you know, they're, they're, they're not really trusting that they have enough to offer you or that you can return their feelings. So that's what I'm sensing. But I, I feel like they're, they're really passionate about you. Um, there's an element here about this person possibly having a child or they have like um, left a, a, a broken marriage household type of a situation and they're trying to, you know, juggle like um, they're, I don't feel like they're financially struggling, but they're taking care of their kids and they're taking care, you know, so like juggling parenthood with uh, work or even work with school and or even the three parenthood, work, and school. So they've got a lot of things on their plate. They might not have a lot of free time. And I, I feel like there is a little bit of a self-esteem dip with this person. Like, I have a kid. It's going to be really hard for me to date. So, you know, would the Gemini person even want me? Would they even want a co-parent? It's too complicated, you know? So then they never make a move. But I feel like there's going to be some emergence in how they feel about you. Okay? So it looks really beautiful. And then I have this water sign here. This is somebody that you get along greatly with. Um, if this is a new person, I feel like the timing is right. So if it's a new person, for whatever there has been, you know, delay plans to go on a date, if there has been delays when it comes to actually meeting up with this person, I feel like the timing is now where the two of you are aligned with one another. So I have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. And I feel like this person, if you have been with this person, um, they allow your you to get where you are, okay? And um, what I feel is, um, let's just say, so um, an example, I feel like one person was in, um, so let, let's say you and this water sign were in a relationship. One person was in school while the other person was working to support the two of you. Okay, so there definitely were a lot of sacrifices uh, made in order to get you where you are. And then I also feel one person um, was like, it, it could be one person was um, working, you know, was the sole breadwinner. And the other person was behind the scenes taking care of the kids. And, you know, housework is so undervalued in this society. But I feel like one person had to tend to the house while the other person could focus on their work and their career and their success. So it, it took two people to really make the situation work. And even though people or you or, you know, whoever might undermine this water sign's contribution, they did a lot. They did a lot in order to, you know, get the relationship moving, get the relationship going. And I feel as if your, if, if that sounds familiar to you, if they're the ones working behind the scenes and they're not getting the thanks and the, the, the accolades that they deserve, 
I feel like it's really important for you to acknowledge this person's importance in your life and to also understand that, you know, you have to share the spotlight with them. Okay? You have to share the spotlight. You have to kind of um, give credit where credit is due because I, I feel like a very loving energy here where it takes two people around the clock. It took, took two people to keep the situation moving, to keep the household afloat, and to keep the relationship from growing stale and stagnant. Um, what I'm also feeling as well is, um, I feel for some of you, um, there's an energy here about once burned, twice shy. So if you are newly, newly single, I feel like many of you have emerged from a relationship where you gave a lot of yourself, where you, um, you dealt with somebody who, who didn't give you the, the credit that you deserve, who undermined your importance in their life as well. And I feel like it was a, quite a hurtful situation. And for whatever reason, they might have said things to kind of uh, tell you, oh, I don't really need you, or, you know, uh, push you away, or keep you at arm's length, to kind of cushion themselves from falling in love with you. That's what I'm feeling. Somebody who's afraid of their feelings. And so they might have dated you along with, you know, other people. They might have um, always like reminded you, you know, oh, I'm dating other people. And I feel like it's because they're afraid of falling deeply in love. And it's because they're afraid of commitment. And it's also because they're afraid that being vulnerable and showing their feelings makes them feel weak, make them feel vulnerable, make them feel like they don't have the upper hand in the relationship. So it's all about control issues. So I, I see a lot of single people, and I see you dating two, two people, water sign, earth sign, and I feel like you're very much in alignment with the water sign, but I also feel that like there's really strong passion for this earth sign, and I feel like the earth sign is uh, heavily focused on a lot of things in their life, and I feel whereas the water sign is a lot more receptive to re like open to receive you, open to being with you. And I keep getting this imagery of the tree. And the tree um, basically means, you know, it's a, a, a very strong soulmate type of a connection. And this water sign, I feel like they've been through a lot. They've made a lot of sacrifices for the people that they love. They know what it means to love unconditionally. They know what it means to pour their heart out and, you know, love something so much that they, um, they, it's like loving somebody so much that you would give everything to be with them. You would give the shirt off your back. You would live like a pauper just to prop them up and make them happy. So it's somebody who is very, very dedicated when it comes to love. And then there's this earth sign who might not be to that extent but I feel like it takes a lot to get the earth sign to to be able to sacrifice to that extent okay so you have either way two great suitors two big you know people with big hearts two people that really care about you and I'm also sensing as well you know there is a um, a lot of choices, a lot of options that are on the table for you. So do with it as you may. Um, I feel like there's a lot of career success. Your time to shine is here. So first of all, we have here a big financial windfall, six of coins, money coming through. Okay. And this is, I feel coming through from your hard work. You've earned something, you deserve something and it's coming to you. For some of you, this could be like a grant. Um, I see something related to travel. So I don't know, some of you might be researchers, some of you might be um, writing a book and you're traveling or you're doing field work. And this grant, this big financial windfall is allowing you to do that. 
I'm also seeing as well, some of you are contemplating a major, major move. And I feel that the money is coming through to assist you with this move. I'm also feeling lots of career success. The sun is about, you know, your light shining very brightly, being able to harness your energy, your creativity, and to make something out of it, carving a name for yourself, getting recognition. Um, I also feel like, you know, overall, the, um, it's, it's vitality. And I don't see any illnesses. I don't see any debilitating things in here. So I feel like it's more career focused getting a lot of positive accolades, getting a lot of positive reception. And for those in theater, in dance, in music, you're going to be very, like you're going to be a big hit, okay? Um, we also have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh, you have some really good cards. So the Wheel of Fortune here, things are turning in the right direction. It was just a matter of time. So if there has been a relationship, for whatever reason, the other person might be shy the other person might feel like you're not, you know, like they don't really live up to your standards or they feel like you have a lot of suitors. They don't really want to put themselves out there and have you reject them. This is the time where they're they're letting their feelings be known. So it was just all a matter of timing and the timing is right this time around with the Wheel of Fortune. It's sort of like things moving in your favor. And so there's definitely um, something, you know, coming back full circle or whatever was not able to get off the ground. It's getting off the ground now. And whatever was not said, feelings that were not expressed, feelings that were hidden, you know, two people just looking at each other and, you know, contemplating, do you feel what I feel? Do you feel that connection? We should explore it. But things were never said. And I feel like things were never said because one, because of some situations regarding visibility. So I don't know if it's, um, it might have been taboo for the two of you to be seen together. Visibility. Uh, it might have been taboo because one person, I feel is very prim and proper, very work oriented. And the other person is more of a free spirit. And so... There are issues here regarding, you know, are we appropriate for each other? Are we one person thinking like, are we really compatible? And then the other person is like, is that person, you know, exciting enough to be with? So there were a lot of issues about the innate compatibility in this situation, or there's fear of, you know, judgment. There's fear of, um, There's fear about whether or not society will accept this relationship. Because I feel like one person is very visible in the public eye. Po possibly very popular or very famous. And then the other person's very um, home oriented. So it could be, you know, for example, dating somebody who's very popular and then you're constantly going to be chased by paparazzi and the other person might not want that lifestyle. They want something quiet. They want something that's under the radar. They don't want that much attention, that much fame, that much, um, yeah, just that much. They don't want that spotlight on them. They want the relationship to be a little bit quieter. They want it to be possibly in secret, you know? And uh, so that, that's what I'm seeing here. And I feel like um, the person that you're dealing with, they want to settle down. They want to have a family. They want the, the familiarity of a nice, quiet existence. And if you're the one that is constantly traveling, if you're, you know, being bussed from one place to the next for the next gig, the next performance to find the next lead, um, that can also disallow them to show you how they feel about you because they feel like their lifestyle is not in uh, compliance with your lifestyle and they feel like it might be impossible to forge ahead and invest in this relationship because because of the the, the lifestyle choices 
and they really don't want to hold you back either. They don't want to hold back your, your light. They don't want to hold back your fame. And they honestly feel like if they were to, to be together with you, they have to fend off your admirers. They have to, you know, it, it just seems like they don't want that competition. They don't want to deal with that. But I keep seeing that man in the dressing room, like he's standing in the doorway and he's looking like, it, he's looking at you and he's just like, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. So I feel like he's admiring you from afar. He's admiring you. And in a way he wishes, you know, he could take you away from that dressing room, from, from all the, the, the admirers, from the spotlight. But he doesn't feel like he has enough, like his life is not glamorous enough to give you everything that you desire. Which is unfortunate. So, I feel like you should go for that safe choice. And I feel like, are you willing to, to put everything on the line, to go for that safe choice. Put your fortune, put your, your career, put everything on the line to go for that safe choice because I feel like you really are attracted to this person as well. But it requires a lot of sacrifices. I, I keep seeing here, you know, um, if you're in it 100%, it might detract you from your career path. So, Gemini, lots of decisions need to be made here and to see a situation realistically to, and to also understand where the other person's coming from and why they're so slow to come towards you because there's a lot at stake, okay? It's not that they don't feel deeply for you. There's just so much at stake from your end, from their end, to getting something off the ground. But the timing is now, and I feel like there will be some uh, information that will allow this union to come together. Um, information coming to light, possibly a discussion, uh, possibly even the look in their eyes, you know, to allow you to see how much they want you. And then you go from there. You have the, the, those discussions after, and you try to, you know, find a path that will work for the both of you. Or somebody has to, you know, sacrifice their, their career, sacrifice what they want out of life in order to be in that relationship. So that's what I'm seeing, though. Um, I hope the reading is helpful for you guys. Uh, best of luck with everything, okay? Take care, and I'll be back next week.